Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video we will be taking a look at another topic gameplay tags. Gameplay tags are really useful and they allow you to manipulate your gameplay abilities as well as gameplay effects. So you can prevent the activation of the abilities or the application of gameplay effects in case of buffs for example. So we'll take a, a look at two examples to use your gameplay tags to prevent the activation of your gameplay abilities and prevent the application of gameplay effects in case of damage okay so just to start what I want to show you we have a slight problem with our current setup right now so if I press my E key we have this cosmic rift ability and if I press my Q key while the E key is active so I have these abilities activated at the same time and if I press my left mouse button both of these abilities are activated at the same time now this might be desirous in your case but uh, it definitely did not happen inside of the game Paragon while it was active before Fortnite and we're exactly we're going to do that so we want this ability to cancel or block the activation of the other ability when one of the abilities is active okay so to start this what I want to do is go to my gas folder and I also want to change the workflow a little bit so in my previous series I used base classes for all of my abilities and characters and that kind of stuff so just to demonstrate how you can do that you can create a new folder and call this base classes okay and create a new blueprint class of the type gas game playability this one and call this ga underscore base game play ability okay now this class is going to serve as my base class for all of my abilities so if I change something over here it is propagated to all of the child classes and I don't have to do some common things again and again okay so in this case I'll be just uh, applying giving some tags to these base classes and they're going to automatically propagate towards the child classes so I'm going to give a default tag to this ability of this character dot ability and I also want this ability to block the abilities that have these tags okay so I can say block ability with tag to character dot ability and you can also use this activation block tag so if a tag is present on the ability system component of the character these abilities will not be activated for example if you are in a cutscene for example or in the safe house like some games do it so you can use this activation block tag while you are in the safe zone okay we'll discuss this option a little bit later okay and now what I want to do is use this base gameplay ability as the parent class of my abilities and for the tutorial sake just to keep it brief I'll be using this in my cosmic rift and tone space only but you can go ahead and use this in all of your classes so open up your GA cosmic rift and go to your class settings and then search for G underscore base this one okay and what you should see is that by default I get these ability tags and block, ab block ability with tags okay and it's a good practice to use your ability tags according to their abilities and not just the top level hierarchy so I'm going to create a new tag for this character dot ability dot cosmic rift okay compile and save this and similarly I'm going to do this one for my tone space so open up your GA tone space go to your class settings and then search for GA underscore base gameplay ability go to your class defaults and change the tag to a new tag character dot ability dot um, tone space okay so once this is done uh, I think this is it so let's just test it out first so if I press my E key I have my cosmic rift active and if I press my Q key I cannot activate my tone space so I activate this ability and now if I press my Q key I can activate my tone space and if I try to press the E key the cosmic rift ability is not activated until I confirm or cancel my ability okay so this is a way to like for example prevent one activation activation of one ability while the other is active 
now we'll take a look at another example that I was talking about so if we can go to our guest folder I want to create a new folder env for environment and create a new blueprint class of the type actor and call this pp safe zone okay so let's open this and add a plane okay and I'm going to precise this by 5 by 5 and I also want to add a box collision and it's going to be like 250 by 250 by 50 let's say and I'm going to drag this a little bit up like so okay and now I want to add a few overlap events for this so it's going to be overlapping only pawns and I want to create for one for begin overlap and one for end overlap okay so what I want to do is that once the character has entered the safe zone we apply some kind of gameplay tag to his ability system component and prevent the activation of the ability okay so we are going to add an interface function that is called from this and applies those tags to our character so going back to our gas folder inside of my interfaces open this pp ability interface okay let's close these i will create a new function and call this add lose tag to asc for ability system component so i'm going to add an input for this it's going to be tag to add and this is going to be a type uh, gameplay tag this one and now i'm going to duplicate this and name this to remove loose tag from ability system component and change the name to tag to remove compile and save this and opening our character class i'm going to implement these two interface functions so the first one is going to be add loose tag and we also have this move loose tag and i'm going to drag them um, over here where our other interface events have been implemented so drag them over here and just search for add loose gameplay tag this one was implemented inside of c and similarly we're going to search for remove loose gameplay tag and just hook it up like this okay i'm going to comment this as add remove loose gameplay tags okay now i also want to point out that this addition and removal of gameplay tag is from the ability system component and not this character itself so just bear this in mind while you are working on this okay so going back to our bp safe zone what i want to do is just search for does implement interface and it's going to be bpi underscore ability interface uh, this one okay and i'm going to branch out from here and send a message to add loose tag to ability system component and similarly i'm going to copy this and do the same stuff and then send a uh, remove loose tag from ability system component message okay so i'm going to define a new tag for this and this is going to be character dot ability because i want to show you something okay compile and save this and now if we go to our level and add this safe zone like somewhere over here okay so now what should happen is that like nothing should happen our ability should work like that okay so this is not going to block the activation or uh, of our abilities i can press my e key to activate this and my q key to activate this but watch what happens then i change my parent class to also apply this tag on my activation block tag so if i apply this on my activation block tag what would happen is that i won't be able to activate my q and e abilities now we haven't set this up for projectile and other abilities but it will work the same way so if i move into the safe zone and press my q key or the e key i cannot activate my abilities okay so this is a way to prevent the 
activation of your abilities while you're in the safe zone and if you walk out and try to activate this ability it can be easily activated okay now what we could do is that once we are in the safe zone we could prevent the damage from for example the projectile ability okay so to do that what I want to do is just modify this tag a little bit because I want to show you another problem with these gameplay tags so you have to be very careful with so I'm going to add a new tag and call this factor.ability.buff okay and I'm going to use the same tag inside of this okay and what I want to do is going to our abilities projectile and open this GE projectile damage so inside of it we have this removal tag requirement okay and if you read the tooltip this prevents the application as well besides removing the gameplay effect on the tag present and ignore okay so I'm going to add the tag of character.ability.buff okay compile and save this so if this tag is present this effect should not be applied to the character okay so let's go ahead and test it out if I start my game I am going to damage this character with my projectile okay his health has decreased and if I move to the safe zone and now if I try to apply this I cannot damage him okay and once he is out of this safe zone I can once again activate my projectile and damage him okay now this has an other side effect as well this might be desirous in some cases it might not be desirous in some cases so if I move inside to see safe zone and if I try to activate my Q or E abilities I cannot activate them okay so the problem that I was talking about is this um, hierarchy of this tags okay so we have this character we have this ability and we have this buff so although our base class is only using this character dot ability and we have set this to use buff but it's going to follow all of the hierarchy for our gameplay tags so just be mindful when you are making your tags so instead of ability this buff should have been in some other buff and debuff category and not inside of this ability okay or you could use this define this some other tag for this activation and deactivation of your abilities okay so just be mindful of this so i think this wraps up this video for our gameplay tags and i think this is enough for this you can experiment with other options that are available to you so i think this will be it for this video thank you very much